Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the measures of central tendency of data starting with arithmetic mean. As we saw in the story, Keshav was a fisherman. He didn't earn the same every day. If he was asked about his income, what should he say? Here is his income for a week and as we see all are different. Monday he earned rupees 235. Tuesday he earned 550 rupees. Wednesday it was 675. Thursday it was 700. Friday 650 and Saturday 385. He cannot give the details of his earnings for the whole week to answer the question. There has to be a single value which represents his earning for the whole week. Such single values which represent the central value or the average value of data or in other words are typical of the distribution of data are called measures of central tendency of that data. So, the measure of central tendency refers to a single value which represents the whole data. The types of data can be different, so there are different measures of central tendency for different kind of data. You know, there are three types of measures of central tendency for different kind of data. The arithmetic mean, median and the mode. So today we shall learn when and how to represent data using arithmetic mean. In real life we find many instances of arithmetic mean. For example, the average test betting score of famous Indian cricketer Sachin Tendulkar is almost 54. Here 54 is a measure of central tendency which represents his test score data. Or the average score of the boy who stood first in the class was 85 in all the subjects. Here by average we mean the arithmetic mean. Why do we need arithmetic mean? Kushi got different scores in different subjects. She scored 80, 70, 74, 93, 77 and 86 in 6 different subjects. She needs 75 average or mean score to get admission in a good school. Why arithmetic mean? Because arithmetic mean gives general idea about her score. That is, it gives the idea about what kind of score she gets. So the total marks scored in all the six subjects is equal to 480 marks. How to find the average or the arithmetic mean here? First, we add all the marks which are 80 plus 70 plus 74 plus 93 plus 77 plus 86 and we get 480 marks. Then we divide the total by the number of subjects which we know is equal to 6. So we get 480 divided by 6 which is equal to 80. So the mean is equal to 80. Thus we divide the sum of all the values by the number of values to get the mean or the average. High mean score gives general idea that she scores good marks in each subject. Take another example. In cricket, a batsman doesn't score the same run in all the matches. True? In some matches, he plays good. Some matches, 
he wouldn't be able to do that well. For example, a batsman scored 35, 47, 12, 95, 63 and 70 in 6 matches. So the total runs made is equal to 322 in 6 matches. The number of matches played is equal to 6. If we divide the total which is 322 by the number of matches which is 6, we get 53.66. As the average or the mean 53.66 represents his batting score data, it gives general idea about his performance. It means he may play bad in some matches but his overall performance is good which is showed by the average of the mean here which is 53.66. In the story, Keshav's average or the mean earnings increased after using the mobile phone in his business. Say some week he earned rupees. 235, 550, 675, 700, 650 and 385 in the 6 days of a week. Here we see the earnings are different. So the total earnings made in a week is equal to 3195. If we divide it by 7, we get the mean which is rupees 456.42. Thus, his daily average or mean income was rupees 456.42. Some day he earned less, some day he earned more, but the overall income was good. Thus, mean gives the general idea about the values in the data. Now, you may wonder, does the arithmetic mean always represent the central tendency of data correctly? Let us take some examples and figure this out. You know, if the data has extreme values which are much larger or smaller than the other values, then the mean doesn't give proper idea about the data. For example, Manilal's sweet shop is not doing well. In a week, he sells the sweets as follows. Monday 50, Tuesday 75, Wednesday 85, Thursday 55, Friday 750, Saturday 90 and Sunday 100. So we see on Friday, lots of sweets were sold because it was a festival day. So total weekly income rose to rupees 1205. Now if we take out the daily mean which would be 1205 divided by 7 then what do we get? We get the mean as 172. But as we see his shop is not doing well and he rarely makes rupees 172 per day. So, this arithmetic mean of rupees 172 is not giving proper idea about his earnings. It is because rupees 750 is an extreme value which made greater difference in the sum and thus made greater difference in the mean. So now we know the arithmetic mean gives general idea about the data in many instances in real life. Like we decide whether a person earns good or not from his daily or monthly mean income. We know how a good batsman is from his mean score. A student is also judged by his mean score. So remember children, the single values which represent the central value or the average value of whole data are referred to as measures of central tendency of that data. 
one such measures is the arithmetic mean and what is arithmetic mean the arithmetic mean of a given data is defined as the sum of the values of the data divided by the total number of values so the mean is equal to sum of all values divided by the total number of values that's all for now bye bye children